and draw this iris in Procreate. I am absolutely sure that you can draw this iris in Procreate as well. We will be using brushes that come with Procreate and I will be guiding you through every step of the way. I will be holding your hand, guiding you through the process. And while we are making this iris, I will show you different techniques that you can use in Procreate, like the liquify tool, using a layer mask and clipping mask. So you will be learning by doing. Now, doesn't that sound like fun? Let's get started. Oh, and first, I wanna thank you all for sharing your artworks on Instagram of the previous tutorials. Keep drawing and keep sharing, please. So first thing, the canvas. It's square this time and it's 3,500 pixels by 3,500 pixels. And the first thing we'll do to make this iris is we will make a circle. But we won't use the brush tool this time. We will make a circular selection. To make a selection, we will go to that S-shaped ribbon and we will go to ellipse. Now, to make a perfect round selection, what you'll do is drag like this and then hold one finger on your screen to pop it into a perfect circle. And what we'll do now is we will feather this selection. That means that we will soften the edge of the selection. So we'll go to feather and we will go to, well, let's say 10%. And we will fill our circle with this blue. By the way, you can just download this palette for free. I will leave a link in the description. So we'll select this blue color and drag it into our selection. And now we have a nice circle. Now to be sure that this circle is in the perfect center of our square canvas, we will make a drawing guide. Go to the wrench and then to drawing guide and then to edit drawing guide. And we will move this slider all the way to the right. So we just have a little cross here. And well, we can set it to pink. Maybe make it a little bit thicker there. And now if you go to this little arrow, we can move our iris around. And you can just check these little circles and see if they are aligned with our cross. Let's also, before we continue, let's add a little bit of color to our background. Go to the layer palette and then click on background color and then click this very light blue color. Now we are going to soften the edge of the iris a little bit. And we will do that by using the Gaussian blur and you can find it under this magic wand and then select Gaussian blur and we will blur it to 5% there. And now it's time to add a pupil. We will have to make a new layer. Do that by going to the layer menu and then click the plus. And we will make a circular selection again. So we go to that S shaped ribbon Use ellipse and let's make a perfect round selection again. And this time we will add this black and we will deselect it and then go to this little arrow. And we will move it so it's perfectly centered there. And this circle we will give this circle a fuzzy edge as well by using the Gaussian blur. Go to 5% again by just sliding on your screen. There. Now we have the base of our iris. Next step is to add all this color variation to our iris. And we will do that on a new layer. First click on the blue layer, then make a new layer above that one. And we will select Clipping Mask. What Clipping Mask does is Pixels you will paint 
on the layer that is clipped will only show up in the area where there are pixels on the layer which it is clipped to. So you will only see new pixels show up in that blue circle. Let me just grab a brush. We will select the Spectra brush, which is new in Procreate 5, and you can find it under Painting. And as you can see, paint will only show up in the blue area. But of course, this doesn't look like an iris. We are going to do something different. And we will use the colors that are in the palette. First, let's start with this bright blue. And we will start to make circles around the pupil. And just tap your finger on the screen to make a perfect circle. And switch up the colors. Make your brush a little bit bigger. Minus 12% now. You can move it around a bit by using the edit shape option. Maybe go back to that light color. Have it at 9%. I'm just going to make some circles. Also use this dark blue. Just continue making various circles with different colors. Some will be thin, but you can also make some thicker circles, like this dark one on the outside. Just continue until you have a nice variation of circles in your iris. This one, I'll set it to 8%. There we have a fantastic looking iris. No, I'm kidding. Of course, this doesn't look like an iris yet, but we are going to change it. We are going to transform it drastically, and we'll do that by using the liquify tool, which is under the magic wand. We will set the liquify mode to crystals. You can do that by here by clicking there. And we will set distortion and momentum to max. And this is where the magic happens. We are just going to make circular motions over our iris. There, look at that. We are going to mess those circles up and just create this really random pattern. So this is just a really fun and easy way to create an iris in Procreate. If you are enjoying narrated tutorials like this one and you want to get one step further, if you want to take your digital art a little bit further, then maybe you'll enjoy my narrated tutorials at Patreon. I recently made a video about how to draw, how to paint an eye in Procreate. So if you really want to get, dive more into realistic looking paintings, then you might consider joining me at Patreon because I share a lot of video tutorials about realistic painting in Procreate. Now let's get out of here. Let's get out of this liquify menu. And let's continue making our iris. For this next step, we will be using the smudge tool. That's this little finger here. And we will set the smudge tool to spectra. And make sure that you're on the layer with our very groovy looking iris pattern. And we will start making, well, we have to make our brush a little bit bigger. Let's say 10%. We will make this sweeping motions from the center of the eye towards the edges. Make sure that you make a movement that kind of starts in the center and then outward. So yeah, just don't do stuff like that. Make sure that you go from the center to the outside. And we still want to see a little bit of that groovy pattern. 
gives a nice variation in colors in our iris. So our brush is at 10% right now. Make sure you keep moving from that center. Oh, I'm pleased with this look, so let's continue. I want to add some more color variation to the iris. And to do that, I will make another layer and again, use clipping mask. Though I don't expect to move outside of the edges, but you never know. I want to add some orangey tones to the iris. So we'll pick this color here. Like I said, you can just download the palette through the link in the description. You can download it for free if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using right now. Let's set the brush to 4%. And I'm gonna make some dabs around the center, around the pupil. And again, make sure that you move from the center to the outside. Don't just make a crisscross motions. There, and again, we'll use the smudge tool, maybe a little bit smaller right now. Let's say 8%, maybe even smaller. Let's set it to six. And we'll drag this color a little bit to the outside of the eye. Next thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of a blur. First, let's go to this groovy, let's just call it the groovy layer and blur this just a little bit. We will go to the magic wand and then to perspective blur. We will keep the settings like this positional and we will drag just a little bit. Well, let's say to about 25%. And let's just do the same for that orange layer. Go to perspective blur again. A little bit more, let's go for 50%. And I will add even more color. Make a new layer. Let's just use clipping mask again. And I want to add some light touches right now. So we'll pick this color. And I would like to use the Oberon drawing brush, which is already in Procreate, if you have Procreate 5, that is. And now we're gonna make some wiggly lines just outside of those orange lines that we just made. Just some wiggles. I want to make it a little bit thick. Add a little bit to that outside. Just some random wiggles. There. And again, we'll use the smudge tool to smudge this and just make straight movements from the center to the outside of the eye. Of course, if you're having trouble, you can always just turn around your canvas by Kind of like picking it up with two fingers, moving it around. I think we got some nice color variation in our iris right now. And let's use that perspective blur again also. Let's go for 40%. Next step, make a new layer. Now I'd like to add a darker edge around a pupil. If you look at pupils, then you will see that often there is a darker edge around the edge of the pupil darker edge around the edge. Yeah, 
pure. Well, it's just darker. Let's just do it. Oh, and don't forget to select the clipping mask. We will pick a dark blue, this one right here. And we will pick the soft brush, which is under airbrushing. And we will make a dark edge. It's like stirring in a big pot. Witchcraft. And just a nice dark edge. And of course, this doesn't look too good, right? So we will use the Gaussian Blur to blur it a bit. Let's go for about 20%. And we will set the layer to multiply. You can find it by scrolling up. And let's turn down the opacity to, well, let's go for 80%. There, it already kind of looks good, right? Oh, and let's just turn off that drawing guide. We really don't need that at this stage. Or maybe you have already turned it off. And now we will work on the pupil. Because, again, if you look at irises, if you take a look at an eye, you will see that a pupil is not a perfect looking round circle. So um, what we're going to do is we will use the smudge tool on the pupil layer. But if you are a bit afraid of how it'll turn up, what you can always do is just duplicate your layer. You can swipe to the left, select duplicate, and we'll just use this new layer. And if you are smudging and you feel like it's not turning out the way you want it to, to look, you can just go back and duplicate that previous layer again and just Try again. So we have the smudge tool and again, we have it set to spectra. And we will make, well, I've got it set to 3%. And again, we will make these movements outwards from the center. Because the pupil is actually, it's a muscle that contracts and expands depending on how much light is coming through. So you, you kind of see these muscles and you see these creases. So doing this will make it look more realistic. And in my Patreon video, I actually share a lot more tips on how you can make an eye look more realistic. I'm gonna go back to 3% here. So I'll give lots of tips about the anatomy of an eye and how light is hitting the eye and how it affects the eye. So yeah, if you really want to learn more about painting in Procreate, then that might just be a place for you. And if you're following this tutorial, I'm absolutely proud of you that you're doing this. And if you're proud of your result as well, then be sure to share it on Instagram and tag me in the image because I would love to share your work in my Instagram stories and perhaps in my next You Can Draw This video. Just go around the edge of the entire pupil. The final thing that I would like to add to this pupil is a nice crisp looking highlight. And of course we will make a new layer again to make that highlight. So we'll go, we'll go to the layer palette and click that plus again. And we will use the monoline brush, which is under calligraphy. And we will use white. And first we will make a circle. Let's make a perfect looking circle. Let's move it around a little bit. I want to make a highlight in this area. And we'll make a second circle, which is smaller. Again, let it snap to a perfect circle by tapping your finger on the screen. Now let's do this. 
And now we can drag the color to make a kind of like a donut shape. But we don't want a donut shape, we want a highlight shape. So we need to erase parts of this highlight. And we will do that by using the eraser. And I have it set to monoline. First, let's make a line here and just hold it on your screen to let it snap to a straight line. And on this side. And now, of course, we want to remove this whole area. And an easy way to do that is by going to the S shape ribbon. So that's your selection menu and go to freehand. And now with our freehand, we will select that entire part. Close it here. Now we have our selection and all you need to do is swipe with three fingers and it's gone. Super easy. But still, this looks way too white, way too crisp. We need to work on that. So we'll go to the layer and we will add a mask. Just click your layer, select mask, and we will go to the soft brush, which is under airbrushing and set it to black. Because when you have a layer mask, everything that is white is see-through. So it won't mask anything, but whatever you make black on your mask will mask what's underneath it. So with black here, here you see, you can mask things. Right now we have a low opacity, so it turns out to be a bit gray and then it'll be semi-transparent. So 100% black will block everything, 100% white will show everything on a mask. Gray will be like 50%. So now we have our airbrush with the opacity set to, well, let's say 35%. Let's see, the size is nice as well. So the size is 16. And we will just glaze over this area a little bit to soften it. I'm gonna set it to 13%. We want a nice soft transition. And since we have a low opacity, we can just make multiple passes before it will go to full black. There. And whenever a bright light is hitting the eye on this side, light will pass through and will hit this area underneath the lens of your eye. It will hit this area of the iris. So I would like to make this area a little bit brighter. I'm going to do that above this light layer and underneath that darker ring. We'll make a new layer there and set it to screen. We will keep our soft brush and select this bright blue. Yeah, let's put this on 16% again and just glaze over this area. There it is, our blue iris. You did it, you followed the tutorial. Now, be sure to share your result on Instagram because I do want to see it and maybe I'll share your work in the next You Can Draw This video tutorial. You'll be there again as well, right? See you then.